the vast lands of India and Pakistan is another land. A land of kadhai, tandoori, biryani and mithai. A land that has enriched the palates of people in both countries for generations. A land that both India and Pakistan claim to have mastery over. A land we call Foodistan. Foodistan is now only five cook-offs away from finding its first ruler. Will it be an Indian chef who occupies the throne or will a Pakistani steal that crown? In our first quarter-final, judging from all the quarter-finals so far, it could go either way. In fact, in our first quarter-final, Chef Manish Mehrotra rolled over one of the Pakistani side's stars, Chef Poppy Aga. Pakistan hit right back in our second quarter-final when Chef Mohammad Ikram showed us that there's more to rice than just biryani and pulao and overcame Chef Karan Suri's spirited challenge. To serve up our third spicy quarter-final tonight, please welcome Ali Khan. Namaskar, Adabars hai. And as always, a very, very good evening. Now, if you've been a fan of Chef Poppy, or for that matter, Chef Karan Suri, you needn't despair that they've lost. Because it's not just about winning or losing in the quarter-finals. It's about scoring the maximum points. Like we've said before, four chefs with the highest points will qualify for the semi-finals, even if they've lost their individual cook-offs. So, as far as Chef Poppy and Chef Karan Suri are concerned, hope does spring eternal. It also springs from the palates of the Foodistan jury. So please join me in saying a hearty hello to our judges. Popular chef and globe-trotting gourmet, Marilise Parker. Good evening. Senior journalist and veteran foodie, Mr. Veer Sangwe. Hi, Ram. Hi, Hi, Veer. Always on the hunt for the perfect script and the perfect dish, actress Sonia Jahan. Very, very good evening. Very good evening to you too. What's interesting about tonight's episode is that both our challengers literally are comeback chefs. They should have been home with their feet up thinking of what could have been. Instead, they grabbed the chance offered to them in our comeback challenge and earned the right to cook in these quarterfinals. Our first challenger comes from an old lineage of Lucknowi chefs and dishes out shairi when he isn't dishing out great food. Cooking for India tonight, the Nawab of Kebab, who cracked the Kareem's code, the executive chef of the Kebab factory, Radisson Blue. Please welcome Chef Mehrajul Haq. Mehraj ji bola, ham kuch karna chahte hain. Ek do minute, khub training diya, khub mehnat kari, khub mehnat kari. Kya main jabi samjh gaya ki ye jo hai. He's different uh, than most Indian chef as he's a genie. He's a smiling guy, he has his wits around him. So he's a nice person to work with, you know. This world will die one day and our story will be our story. So the story will never end. The story will never end. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Come on, come on, sir. Come on, sir. Chef Mehraj's opponent is flamboyance personified. And lest anyone doubt his calibre, the comeback challenge proved his command over desi cuisine. Time to say Kushamadid to the hero of Unza, executive chef of Kamameshi Karachi, Chef Noor Khan from Pakistan. My try is that I will give new recipes to foodistans. And if you have any other things, you have any ingredients, you have any other cuisine, I will give you a dish in that dish. Inside, inside, inside. When I work with Shev, if I have a little bit of a mood or I don't have a mood, then I have to fight and kill me. If I get more bored, then I play with my friends, or I play volleyball, or I play with any kind of sports. I will try to work with full effort and win and win my own land. Now, Shev, you have to win the whole world of India. Do you have to win the whole world of India? God bless you, brother! Hello, brother. How are you? How are you? How are you, Mohtarama? Yes, it's very good. Mehraj Sahib, are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Let me tell you that when we've seen you in the kitchen, you're going to go to your house, you're going to go to your house, you're going to go to your house, you're also very impressed with me. My style is this, always. And I only want to say this, that I'm going to be a good person, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, I'm sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting. 
अब मैं अक्सर मैं नहीं रहता तुम हो जाता हूँ मेराजी के लिए कोई मैसेज हर बंदा मेहनत करता है हर बंदे की कोशिश होती है कि टीम अपना जो चेंज जो कंपटीशन है वो जीते कोशिश तो यही रहती है कि खाना अच्छा सा अच्छा बने अच्छा सा अच्छा हम उसमें टेस्ट दें लज्जत दें और बाकी अल्लाह मालिक है वेरी गुड जी मस्ती तो चली गई सीरियसनेस आ गया है ऑल द बेस्ट ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू सो मच वेल द शेफ्स लुक डिटरमिनेंट एंड क्वाइट सीरियस बट वी विल सी हाउ रेडी दे आर एंड हाउ सीरियस दे रिमेन व्हेन वी रिवील एज ऑलवेज टुनाइट्स गेम चेंजर पुट योर थिंकिंग कैप्स ऑन इट्स यूज्ड इन टूथपेस्ट इन इंक इन पेपर शू पॉलिश एंड ग्लू एपेटाइजिंग लिस्ट दैट इज बट आर गेम चेंजर इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट स्टेपल फूड्स इन द वर्ल्ड इन द सबकॉन्टिनेंट वी रेलिश इट Roasted, boiled, or even as a bread. Chefs, judges, viewers at home. Tonight's game changer is the amazing corn. आप दोनों बड़े रिलैक्स लग रहे हैं क्या क्या ख्याल है? काम में कभी टेंशन लेता नहीं हूँ. और जो भी काम करता हूँ बहुत हमेशा ऐसा लगता है कि सामने वाला काम कर रहा है मैं घूम रहा हूँ ठीक है बने रहो पगला और काम करेगा अगला क्या बात है सर <laughs> आप भी जवाब दे ही दें सर मैं फिलहाल कौन की तरफ देख रहा हूँ मकई की तरफ और सोच रहा हूँ कि इसका क्या एक नया चीज़ दे दूँ जो ना किसी ने खाई हो ना किसी ने देखी हो जो स्पेशल मेरे जिसको पसंद आ जाए तो उसके ऊपर मैं सर अब दिमाग को अंदर अंदर घुमा रहा हूँ देखा कुछ ना कुछ हो जाएगा इंशाल्लाह चले ऑल द बेस्ट आप जरा सोचे आ, हमेशा की तरह आप अकेले नहीं होंगे आपके साथ अप्रेंटिसिस होंगे तो अप्रेंटिसिस प्लीज आप आ जाए वीव गॉट कैनिथ फ्रॉम आई आई एच एम कोलकाता फॉर इंडिया एंड वीव गॉट राजा सेन फ्रॉम आई आई एच एम कोलकाता फॉर टीम पाकिस्तान फॉर ऑल दोज यू बिन वॉचिंग यू डू रिमेंबर दैट नॉर्मली वी थ्रो गूगली एट दैम नॉर्मली दैट गूगली इज अबाउट वॉट दे कैन नॉट यूज In tonight's episode it's about what they must use. Chefs, aaj hamara googly jo hai wo ye hai viewers that they must use milk. Now you can get into a huddle apprentice ke sath aap discussion shuru kar sakte because now you know what you must do while Ira takes us through the rules of the game. Before that let's as always get a little bit of input from our judges on tonight's game changer the amazing corn. Sonia I love corn it just brings back so many memories i'm just dying to get my teeth into it Chefs pay attention you got nostalgia a uh, nostalgia on your side with Sonia Jahan Veer <laughs> It's a difficult one era I neither of these chefs is really a corn expert it's alien to their traditions in many ways so to make everything depend on corn It's sort of given that Siddharth Bas was producing this program this is almost corn banega karodpati <laughs> <laughs> But also milk complicates it further. There's only one dish I can think of that's perfect for corn and milk, and that's corn flakes. Marylees, I do like the whole fresh corn, um, and there are a few dishes that I love. Although I've never had any from this region of the world before, so I'm hoping that these guys are going to make something that I like. And at the moment, I'm actually racking my brains as to what they're going to do. I've got no idea. So I hope they have some divine inspiration. <laughs> Thank you judges and here are the rules once again just to remind everybody of our quarter finals. One, both chefs have to cook two appetizers and one main course in 90 minutes. Two, two of the three dishes must contain our game changer corn and the variants. Three, they must use milk with the corn. That's our googly tonight. And four, the chefs cannot repeat any dish they have previously cooked on the competition. As always, once they are done, Our jury, our esteemed judges, will score each menu out of a total of ten points. Thanks very much, Ira. Chef Mehrajul Hak, आप हमें reveal करें कि आपने क्या सोचा है. Judges को बताएं कि इन्हें क्या खाने को आप देंगे. Starter में हम देंगे मुर्की रान. रान हमेशा बकरे से बनती है, लेकिन हमने मुर्की बनाने बना रहे हैं. दूसरा starter हमारा होगा कॉन और पालक की टिक्की. और तीसरा main course होगा मुर्की बाउली हांडी नूर खान साहब प्लीज सर आप हमें बताएं कि आप हमारे लिए क्या पकाएंगे मकई का जोशंदा बना रहा हूं मैं 
उसके अंदर जो मैं इन्ग्रीडियंट्स डाल रहा हूँ वो आपको आ, मतलब गर्म रखेगा ठंडा फील नहीं होगा सर्दी नहीं लगेगी ज़्यादा आपको और दूसरा मेरे पास है गासपूस का सलाद उसको हमने बड़ा ज़बरदस्त टेस्ट दिया हुआ है सारा वेजिटेबल जितनी भी हैं टेबल वेजिटेबल जो मैं रेसिपी में इस्तेमाल कर रहा हूँ खड़े खड़े के सोच में आया कि एक डिश क्रिएट हुई है जिस डिश का नाम है बता दूँ बता दें डिश का नाम है फुड़स्तान इंग्लिश में कहेंगे फुड़स्तान क्रेब अगर इसको उर्दू में लेके जाएंगे तो केकड़ा के केकड़ा फुड़स्तान थैंक यू वेरी मच शेफ बोथ योर मेन्यू साउंड very interesting thankfully not too corny and remember you must believe that victory is just around the corner for pride for honor for glory let the battle begin on foodistan the ndtv news app had redefined the entire genre now another market beater it's already hit number 1 ndtv profit India's number one finance app. Download free at ndtvprofit.com/apps. Live stream of NDTV Profit, market news, and your easy-to-manage portfolio. Download now ndtvprofit.com/apps.